Hi friends, I'm so glad to see you all again. We have a very special story to tell today, but before we get started, I want us to remember our bottom line, and that is, I can believe in Jesus. Can you say that with me? I can believe in Jesus. Let's do it one more time. I can believe in Jesus. Good job, friends. Like I said, we have a very special story, and we also have a really important verse to memorize, and our verse is from John 20, 31, and it goes like this. These are written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God. Can you say that with me? These are written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God. Let's do it one more time. These are written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God. Good job, friends. Friends, our story comes from the Bible today, and it's an amazing true story about an amazing man. He did something that only he could do. I think you know who this special person already is, so I want you to say his name on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. That's right! Jesus is the very special person, and I'm going to tell you about an amazing thing that he did and that he could only do. And I have some very spe special pictures to help us tell the story today. So God sent his son, Jesus, to show how much he loved us and how he wanted to be our friend forever. Jesus taught us how to love each other and how to be a good friend. Jesus loves everyone. And he was a very good friend to all different kinds of people. Jesus was a good friend to everyone and even the people that made wrong choices. So far, we learned that Jesus loves everyone and that he was a friend to everyone. And that's pretty amazing. But I'm going to tell you the most amazing thing that only he could do. One day, a very sad thing happened. Some angry people took Jesus away and hurt, hurt him so badly that Jesus died. Jesus' friends buried him in a tomb and then rolled a big stone in front of the tomb. Jesus was gone, and his friends were very sad. But on the third day, Jesus did something amazing that only he could do. Jesus came back. Jesus is alive. When Jesus came back, he went to his friends and his family so they can see that he is alive. Then Jesus told other people. And then they told other people. And then they told other people. And some people wrote down some stories about Jesus being alive. It was amazing. Now we can read, read what they wrote in the Bible. So when I ask you, who is alive? I want you to say, Jesus is alive. So who is alive? Who is alive? That's right, Jesus is alive. Wow, what an amazing thing Jesus did. Let's close our eyes and talk to Jesus before we go. Open them, close them, open them, close them. Give a little clap. Open them, close them, open them, close them, fold them in your lap. Dear God, thank you for sending Jesus to be our friend forever. Thank you that he came back just like he said he would. I pray that we will all believe in Jesus and believe that he is alive and we will choose to follow him. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much for listening to the story this week, friends. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye.